time for another trip. Heading out, back to the cabin. One more time before we take the trailer up there. Taking an extra trip up to the cabin to deliver some uh, uh, building supplies so we don't overload our trailer like we did last year. Uh, the truck was squatting quite more than we've ever seen it squat before. So we had a few heavy things uh, I'll show you in a minute. Last time we had like the bathroom vanity and tiles for the, tra the uh, cabin and that sort of thing. Uh, now we got a whole bunch more stuff that we've been collecting throughout the winter and i'll just show you what's on the truck so brent's got the osb on the top of the rack yes the rack is back on the truck got some concrete board for underneath the uh underneath the fireplace uh some insulation so i can uh, seal up the gaps and around the windows our uh vanity mirror medicine cabinet is in that box there hopefully i'll have time to put that together We've got the uh, window wells for uh, around where the uh, the heat pump is, where it comes out of the wall, so that um, we don't. Uh, it's protecting that area. Um, what else? <laughs> Dog food's back, and there's some uh, concrete blocks that. Uh, go underneath a, uh, a shed so we may or may not use it for that shed that we inherited and uh, yeah should be a good trip looks like the weather's going to be good all the way up the dogs and I are gonna leave first thing in the morning and uh, I wasn't gonna do it this time <laughs> but uh, the front seat's gonna be stuffed again so I'm taking some of these plants up there and um, our little lights and uh, yeah, we're uh, working on starting to slowly move things from here to up there, our next permanent home base. Because this is temporary, always has been. Don't plant roots down here in the lower mainland. All right, we'll check in with you in the morning when we drive out. Well, here we are. Dogs and I are in the truck, <laughs> packed in here like sardines. And uh, we're heading out. So, it's uh, 6.30 this morning. We've already been on the road for about 10 minutes. And I'm going for the 2.50 ferry. So I'm gonna be in Belfour at uh, 3.30. So it's, uh, the sun hasn't quite come up yet. We're definitely in the crack of dawn. And um, we'll uh, catch up as we go. Nothing too exciting because we've done this road so many times before. I'm not even going to put the dash cam on. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll talk later. Okay, first stop. Well, second really. First one was a fuel stop. Yeah, we needed to make a pit stop for the girls and uh, myself. So we stopped in Manning Park. There's still snow on the ground, which is good news from a... Uh, forest fire perspective I guess I don't think it's enough to um, solve the drought issue that's going on in BC but um, yeah apparently this was not a good ski season for those who are avid skiers anyways I'm back on the road it's a little smoky here I don't know why they're doing a control burn or what they're doing. Yeah, I just noticed it when I came into the park or down by the resort. Anyways, um, yeah. So there's snow on the ground down here at uh, Manning Park. Allison Pass was the high point and uh, there was a fair bit of snow there. And you can see it on the sides of the road here and in the trees and stuff. 
Okay, I'm gonna focus on driving because I got some windy road and I got a heavy load. Well, I made it. I cut off, according to Google Maps, I cut off about 20 minutes of time. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm on the ferry, feeling great. Legs are a little stiff, but you know, we'll work it out. Now I gotta get across the ferry, or get over to the other side, and we will uh, unload the truck. It, it's a lot of stuff. We meaning me. <laughs> I do have a helper. since I was on the road. <laughs> um, I got up here with the loaded truck. It's unloaded, and that was yesterday. Got so busy unloading the truck and doing stuff that um, totally forgot to uh, make a comment on it. So Brent had uh, installed this other crude, hi Wrigley, ramp. Wrigley does not like to go up the ramps. I don't know what her deal was. Bailey just bling! I'm currently on the search for a pair of gloves I was using and I don't know where I put them. Typical me. So, I grabbed the other pair out of the truck. Good thing I brought two. So, I'm just gonna show you what we've been up to. Bailey, where are you going? Hey, Bailey. Stay here or mom's gonna put a chain on you. Come on, stay here. Anyways, um, I'll just show you upstairs the chunks of, so these stairs are, they're beautiful. They're not complete though. So there has to be a board that goes in here <laughs> and in here. So you just have to kind of step carefully. So that stack of, oh, it's warm up here. <laughs> um, that stack of, lumber the osb was brought up in the truck it was on top and then these uh beams felt like so much more oh and i brought two giant bags of insulation which i'm going to do something with um shortly i'm enjoying the heat upstairs right now because it's a little chilly the sun is out it's been beautiful yesterday it was like 23 degrees out here celsius and Stepped on that spot on the board several times. It's not gonna make me fall through the floor, but it's a little scary. So, um, since I was here last, okay, careful going down the stairs. Don't step in the triangle holes. Oof. So I'm not sure the GoPro is good picking up because the whole lack of light in here, how lovely this is. Um, yeah, so there's the pantry still. Our shower parts are here. <laughs> They're kind of taking up some space. I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging. And I brought up these giant bags of, uh, of um, insulation. I'm gonna tuck some in the windows. First, I wanna do some rearranging. And I'm gonna move the white tiles so I can lay out the tiles on the floor there. Um, I want to map out where the fireplace is going. So there's two different size fireplaces and the little guy is what I really want. And, um, Brent wants the bigger one because the little guy doesn't have, you have to have smaller logs and apparently that's problematic. And people who do cut logs, oh, my dogs are MIA. Um, they cut a certain size and that's it. So, um, I'm gonna go find my dogs and I'll get back to you. Well, the lighting's pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, there we go, we'll come out over here. We got one light bulb and then a work lamp over yonder. So, came up here, delivered the things I needed to deliver, got the uh, insulation stuffed in the tops of the windows and door and, um, 
just packing things up to get ready to uh, head back to the Lower Mainland. It's getting harder and harder to go back to Lower Mainland every time I come up here because I just want to continue doing and getting the cabin to where we can uh, live in it. Anyways, good night for now. We'll talk to you in the morning. Well, I made it back home again. It's actually the next day. Dawned to me. Huh. I didn't follow that uh, recording that I did up at the cabin. I didn't follow it up. So, yeah, made it home. Uh, it's a long haul, and uh, by the time I got home, it uh, it was a little bit later. I basically ate, showered, and went to bed. <laughs> I had to clean some stuff up. So I, I cleaned up what I could inside, and then this morning I put away the rest of the boxes I'd put in the, um, in the pickup box and that sort of thing. It's hard to travel when you don't have your trailer. <laughs> you have to pack things separately, and... Then finding spaces. Poor Bailey had to travel with stuff beside her, so the dogs had two thirds of the seat, or the floor in the back seat, all the way up and all the way back. So you saw how heavy the truck was. Managed to get it all unloaded and put away and cleaned some things up. Oh, I got the door programmed. I'm not sure if I told you that. <laughs> Anyways, I was so excited because we were having a little bit of trouble. And I just really, what I needed to do was sit down take a minute and read it and I, it took me two tries but um, I realized what I had done wrong in the first 20 tries that Brent and I had done I do want to mention though I did wash the truck a little bit before I went left it's really dirty again because we got snow it's April and we had snow Yeah, the rack's still on the truck. I don't know if Brent's gonna take it off again before we go back up to do some more work. So, yeah, I don't, maybe this is a better angle to see how dirty the truck is. Like there's a layer of silt right along the bumper. Today's a recovery day for me. I'm not going to wash the truck today. Um, Brent's gonna take the truck to work and uh, drop something off he brought home that he probably shouldn't have, but that's okay. Um, we found out before we took it up to the cabin that's like, um, wait a minute, don't, um, don't take that with you. <laughs> One person said, oh, you can totally have that. And then the other person's like, uh, probably not. <laughs> so I noticed too, and I, there's a great big bug spot right there. <laughs> So it was a good trip, had great weather other than snow just before I, before Princeton for a little ways and then when we were coming back up Princeton and um, driving up the uh, other mountainside it was um, snowing again so it was pretty <laughs> but I'm like eh and it didn't accumulate on the road or roads or anything like that uh, so it was fine. Anyways back home. Looking forward to going back up in the cabin in a few weeks and getting that construction underway and getting that cabin to completion. So excited to uh, get that done. That's all I wanted to share with you this week. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications.